Well, what a night. How was it for you to be reunited, to see the girls again? And do you feel all the love coming your way? I felt all the love tonight. (laughs) No, it was a fun night. It was good to see the guys. Um, I see like 13 of them. And then also Gabby and Rachel uh, brings back good memories. Um, But, you know, this whole experience has been great. I really enjoyed everything about it. Um, I've learned a lot about myself and uh, it's definitely, you know, been a journey. And, um, you know, it was good good to see Gabby and Rachel and also, you know, I got to apologize tonight to to Rachel for, you know, denying the rose and we had a little moment. I got to hug her and, um, you know, and just, you know, everything that happened, um, you know, it was just good to kind of rehash everything. Yeah, absolutely. Anything surprise you about tonight? There was also a lot of hard conversations. Um, You know, I was surprised Hayden and Kristen show up at least, you know, especially just Hayden, right? Out. What? <laughs> Especially Hayden, right? Especially Hayden, yeah. Um, thought maybe we would kind of get into it or something. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just kind of speaks to his character not show- not showing up, and um, you know what he said to Gabby and Rachel was you know disrespectful, hurtful, you know inappropriate, and you know I stepped in because you know I couldn't tolerate it anymore, and what what he was saying. Um, and also, you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, make it up to Rachel after, you know, she gave me a second chance. So, you know, I wanted, you know, to be as honest with her as possible. Yeah. Have you talked to Hayden since? Um, you know, I haven't really talked to him like a little bit, but. Um, What'd you say? I, I, I don't know why he didn't come tonight. Um, uh, what, did, what did I say to him? Yeah. Um, I was just catching up with him about like, you know, the show and stuff. We didn't really talk about. What happened? Uh, what happened now? Um, I, yeah, I don't know. Okay. In hindsight, how do you feel about there being two bachelorettes? And do you think there should be two bachelors next season? Um, you know, I was really, I was really excited about having two bachelorettes. I mean, it's two opportunities to meet, you know, two wonderful, you know, girls. So, um, I, I enjoyed it. You know, it was tricky at first. Um, especially getting time with so many guys, um, you know, and then, you know, I was kind of indecisive because I, you know, got, you know, so little time with both of them, but then after they kind of divided it and, you know, you could put all your energy into, you know, just Rachel, um, it it was good. And, um, I really enjoyed that aspect. Um, so I think, you know, if they do have two bachelors, I think make the roses intentional at first, don't wait, um and you know make people decide you know earlier on you know earlier you know at least um and then kind of divide it um because you know it gets gets tricky it gets you know uh it gets really tough yeah wells wants you to be the next bachelor how do you react to that Wells said that yes no way oh yes no way yes he said that he did i would be honored i would love to do it i think it would be a lot of fun to get my, my family on it too my my family just started wa- like watching the Bachelor. They like never really seen it before. Uh, I've always like watched it, um, but now my parents are like obsessed with it. It's so funny. What like is- we had like a premier party, and like my my mom came, and <laughs> like all my friends were there, and <laughs> they were like loving it. <laughs> what did your parents think of you on the Bachelor? Were they like, ah, oh, we raised him? <laughs> yeah, no, I think that, that they liked it. Um, they thought it was really cool. Um. And they, they, they thought like, I, you know, represented the family good and, you know, was respectful and, you know, honest and showed my true character. And, uh, they know me, I'm like goofy, high energy guy. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's nothing they haven't seen. <laughs> okay. You mentioned earlier, you learned a lot about yourself on the show. What did you most learn about yourself? I think, you know, I need to like be like more decisive. Um, also just, you know. I'm growing up, you know, what I want in, in a person, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to get married and, and have a family and, you know, oh. have a lot of kids soon. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do, you know, I, I'm one of five. Um, and my goal is to have six kids, um, one more than my parents. <laughs> <laughs> Just so I can say I have one more. Uh, <laughs> I love but, that. Um, no, it, I, I'm honest, you know, I, that's what I want. Um, but, you know, I don't want to force anything. Um, 
and obviously, you know, the chemistry's got to be there and, you know, she's got to be the right one for me. And obviously I get along with family and yeah. have the right, you know, values and more as me, but, um, you know, I'm excited, you know, I'll see what happens. You know, I like to put myself out there and, um, you know, being goofy and showing my personality. So I think I did, I showed that on, on this season. Uh, I certainly made Gabby and Rachel laugh at times. So that was yeah. fun. <laughs> How um how has the dating scene been since the show? It's um it's weird. Um, you know I'm getting like recognized, which is really weird. Like when I go out in public, everyone just yells meatball at me. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that that meatball guy? I was like driving and someone came up to me in the other lane and there was like pull down the window. And like, Are you that meatball guy? And I was like, <laughs> you're like it's me. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm driving right now, but um. No, it's fun. Um, you know, obviously you get a lot of DMs, which is weird. Uh, there's all like meatball fans out there. You know, yes. like, like there's like a cult following. I know. Like are rooting for me. Uh, so it's fun. Okay. It's- any any blue check marks in the DMs? Oh, I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> what I'll about any- to you guys to think? There, to but what about anyone in Bachelor Nation? Um, I don't really have my eyes on anybody right now, um, from like bachelorette or anything, but, um, I like getting set up. That's the one thing. Um, so my, like, I have two sisters and they, like, before I went on the show, they would always set me up with people, uh, which is, which I think is fun. I like kind of going on dates with people that, you know, have the right person in mind for me and are looking out for me. I always think that's fun. What are you looking for in your next relationship? Um, Someone that's, uh, you know, honest, loyal, fun, energetic, you know, active, uh, a pretty like high energy person. I like to like work out a lot. I'm also like very disciplined and, you know, determined person. So someone that can like push me and, um, you know, someone also, you know, gets along with family and, you know, wants also, you know, to get married and start their own family. Okay. Do you have a celebrity crush? I only ask you this because... The Bachelor is notorious for like, you know, Wells and Sarah Highland, Tyler Campbell, um, Deed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I um, I think I like Selena Gomez a lot. <laughs> okay, I was just gonna say Selena Gomez. Wait, really? I swear, I feel Set like- Set me up. Set me up with Selena Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> She's so nice. I feel like that could wait, be- Wait, wait, you've met her? Of course. Really? No I've way. I've met her a bunch. Would I, would I get along with Selena, you think? I think you would make her laugh a lot. Think you can make this happen? (laughs) Let's make it happen. Only on extra. Put me up. Wait, I need need help. (laughs) (laughs) You should slide into her DMs. Should I? I think right now, let's do it. (laughs) You might be too cool for me. (laughs) No, no, I honestly think that would, I could see this happening. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.